Hello friends, welcome back. So in the previous video we worked with the uh, basics of the split, so the navigation and routing, progress bar, toast, uh, title and meta tags. For the lazy loading you have the video here. And for the service side I think you can just read the documentation, it's not too much. Now also we have a components here as you can see, content. So if we want to render the markdown, we just use this built-in component x split content and we add the HTML attribute. We bind this and here we add the variable. Also you can see for the data. So let's just demonstrate this. Let's copy and open the resource views. Welcome. And I'm going to select all and paste this one, save. And if I refresh, yeah, you can see your name is because we have an input and then a paragraph, your name is, and then with this a span with the text data name. So what we put here is going to display in the span. So let's add and let me just zoom it okay let's add something here so let's we'll say john and you can see we have john down there also we can add the default one so let's do that let's add the default for the name and now the default name is laravel split is kind of uh, yeah it's kind of uh, alpine js when we say x data and here we and we define the data. Here we just say default and define the name, and we assign the string here. And this, if you want to add the PHP version, we can use the bind default instead. The just default here, and add an object. We say bind in a default, and we add an array. For example, name. Laravel split and is the same. So we can update this, let's say Laraveler and now OK. And you can uh, so also you can add the first user, get the data from the database, remember and default, local storage use and so on. Defer errors so if the error has name with text error first name display the first uh, error for the name also we have the event a flash message so when we return in the request a session has flash message we display here and warning by default split will share all the flash data to the front end so you may disable this if you want so if i click here and just let's publish this one so i'm going to go and let's terminate this and i'm going to paste that one okay and also this one and now if we go to the config we have the split.php and you can change what you like and what you don't like. So we have the share session flash data, the true. You can change this to false if you don't like that. Okay, it's also for server side rendering and so on. Next, what we have, we have the form we are going to work with form for the link we read in the first video for the model is very easy we just use this x split model and to demonstrate all of this what i'm going to do i'm going to create a crowd so let's open the iterm and i'm going to clear this and say artisan make a model and let's say i'm going to create a 
category because I want to have also in the form components we have this uh, select and I want to use this select to demonstrate you so I'm going to create a category mod model and migration and the post and when we create a, a post use this select okay so for that I'm going to create this category uh, in not model but model my mistake here and one for the post so let's say post okay and now open all the category table here I'm going to add only the name so the assign table string for the name and this is going to be unique okay save close open the post migration and here what I'm going to add first add the category ID so I'm going to say origin ID for the category ID and I'm going to say constraint okay and cascade on delete then I'm going to add the title so the assign table string for the title and the slug okay and let's add one word for the description and what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this slug and add also in the categories and now let's run the artisan migrate okay now we have all of them what I'm going to do I'm going to create also the controllers so let's come here and let's say artisan make controller okay so the category controller and one for the post controller very good let's go here and I'm going to remove what we added in the welcome so let's remove them and let's leave it as it is refresh let's go and log in we have also let's remove this confirmation because I don't want that so in the link we have this confirmation I'm going to remove and also I'm going to zoom it out go to the link and we have this user let's log in okay now I'm going to add two links here for the category and for the post so we need to go in the layouts and navigation here we have the navigation links and by default right now we have only the dashboard so let's copy this and add two more I'm going to add the categories and this one is going to be the post link here I'm going to say categories and here is going to be post let's save and let's refresh but we don't have the categories and my mistake we need to add here also the dot index and the same in the post so let's say dot index 
save, open the web routes and register this to routes we created the controller so I'm going to say road resource and not the user but for this is going to be for the categories and it's going to be the category controller and the second so road resource post controller okay save uh, we need to import it, the category controller and the post controller save now and refresh as you can see we have the categories and post links if i click we don't have the index and with that we are going to work in the next video so see you there all the best and don't forget if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this all the best friends